this out. It's a chick. Man, I'd give anything to see what she's got under that lettuce. Playing with your food, that's real mature. You gonna eat that? What the hell is going on? Oh my god, zombies! Have you returned from the dead to eat my brains? We eat cow brains all the time back on the old pickle homestead. Does that mean I'm a zombie? Those aren't horrible zombies. They're delightful alumni. It's homecoming. So I did die at the tractor pole. Welcome back, alumni, to this year's homecoming. Woo! Barter College! It's good to be back. Hey, Rick, Tony, check out my new shopping cart. It's totally tricked out. Tin foil handle grips and, uh, that's pretty much it. Wow, look at all these old people. That's what we'll be like after we graduate. That'll be sweet. I hope I can afford a shopping cart like that. You're so materialistic. Hey, your cart's on fire. No, those are racing flames. Oh, wait, it is on fire! <laughs> Lucky he had a fire extinguisher in his pants. Where the hell is everyone, anyway? Getting settled over there. Oh, look who stopped by to say hello. It's our beloved Barter College mascot, the strapping young man. Ooh, you're a hot little piece of ass, ain't you? <laughs> That's our mascot. I thought our mascot was the San Diego chicken. I mean, isn't this the University of San Diego chicken? The strapping young man continues to bring the football team luck. When he's at the game, they always cover the spread. I got a daughter your age. She's dead. And of course, you all remember our honorable Dean Earhart. Bring back the strapping young man! Lousy cheapskates. How the hell am I supposed to raise money from people who won't even spring for a motel? Wow! Someone made it big. A bartered college graduate went on to become a limo driver. Mike Whalen, class 87. How'd you get a limo? I won 150 million in the Tri-State Powerball Lotto. So, what are you getting me for homecoming? Wake up, Del. Homecoming is just another one of those made-up Hallmark holidays, like Secretary's Day, or my grandmother's funeral. But probably a sweater. <laughs> Look, someone changed the menu board. Oh, you mean there ain't no fried rectum? Pranks are part of the excitement of homecoming week. <laughs> like that hilarious fake vomit. Oh, dear. I'll have the <laughs> bunghole surprise. Okay, one order of bunghole sup. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the anus burger. <laughs> Here you are, honey. Aww. Carter alum with $150 million. You know how much that is, Linda? Let me give you some perspective. If you spent $50 million a day, it would take you three days to go through it all. But how are you going to convince Wayland to give you the money? Simple. I'm going to throw a banquet in my honor. You mean his honor? That's even better. He's more likely to give money if we honor him. Linda, I could kiss you. I could, right? That menu board? I haven't laughed so hard since that guy called me Ed Pickle. Wish I'd had a comeback. But how do you mock a guy named Big Richard Uckwad? I bet I know who did it. Those dudes Shep and Billion. They're funny. Kind of like that comic strip Marmaduke. <laughs> what a big dog. Oh, wait. I'm thinking of Kathy. Which one can't find a man? like Shep and Billiam. Mm, but we don't know how to make words out of words. Yeah, well, I've got in mind a prank that's so awesome, so devious, so complex, that people will be talking about it for years. You mean break something? Dude, you and I, we're like this. Dean Earhart, this is awfully extravagant. Can the school afford it? You gotta spend money to make money, sweetheart. Here, try this caviar. I had it shipped in from some foreign place. What's this receipt for cannons? Uh, it's for the rental of the cannons. 
which we will fire off right after we get the dough from a lotto boy. Having a good time, Mr. Whalen? <laughs> Excellent. Welcome, alumni. As you can see, we've spared no expense to show how much you mean to this school. Hey, get away from those shrimp rolls! But I'm Marty Burke, class of 92. Did you win the lotto? I don't think so. Ah! Mission accomplished. What did you do? I took all the silverware. Now watch the fireworks begin. <laughs> they ruined your prank. Keep watching. All right, let's go. So, uh, Mr. Whalen, did I mention how we rely on the generous contributions of our alumni? Yeah, I think it was right after you refused to let my best friend Marty Burke eat a shrimp roll. Oh, I thought he was the other Marty Burke, the uh, neo-Nazi who uh, burned down the rainforest while uh, clubbing a harp seal. Yeah, that's him. All right, I'm out of here. Wait, come back. The, the cannons. We, we could shoot them at the harp seals or, or the rainforest. Just tell me what to shoot. He said shoot. Time to light these boom tubes. Hold on. See, I was born with an extra set of eardrums, so my hearing is extremely sensitive. <laughs> You spent all this money without the board's permission? And how much did you raise? Roughly $9.50. Listen, Earhart, we're gonna see to it that this whole fiasco comes out of your pocket. But, sir, I... You're the most irresponsible administrator I've ever seen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to set a towering pyramid of homecoming logs on fire. Oh, God, I'm ruined. How am I ever gonna come up with the money to pay for all this? I'll just have to dip into the endowment fund. You mean the endowment fund you rated to pay for this? Is there any other endowment fund? I, I'm serious, because if there is, we could borrow money from that one. World War II was won with toothpicks and ant bait. How much can we get for that thing? That mascot is a school treasure. He's been here for 80 years. Not to mention the football team always covers the spread when he's around. Hey, that gives me an idea. We've been here eight hours. Why don't you hike up your skirt a little? Why don't you go to hell? Fine. I'll just have to bet the remaining endowment money on the homecoming game. Prude. Their brilliant wordplay on the freshman cafeteria's menu board harkens back to the golden age of homecoming hijinks. I can't believe Shep and Billiam's prank made the paper. But no one even noticed ours. Yeah, it says their prank was almost as outrageous as the 1937 homecoming when Roscoe Hickland kidnapped the University of Atlanta's mascot. He stole a mascot? Sweet. Hey, that's what we should do. But we don't know where the University of Atlanta is. Everybody knows it's under the ocean. It sank years ago. Don't you read the Bible? But if it's under the ocean, how can we steal their mascot? No, dude, we'll steal the barter mascot. Oh, good. Most of that college is above ground. God, I can't wait to see the faces on those tools over at Barter when they realize we've stolen their mascot. What's the point spread on the homecoming game? I don't know what you're talking about. Betting's illegal. Just like uh, putting a hidden camera in the women's bathroom. And neither of those things happen here at Andy's. Cut the crap! What's the spread? Barter plus 45 and a half. All right, steady, Earhart. You only need to bet enough to make back the cost of the banquet. How much you in for? All of it. All of it! Oh, this is a substantial bet. Uh, allow me to turn on the high rollers bathroom cam for you. They keep this old man in a stable? That just seems wrong. By the way, did you bring the bag to put over his head? Cool. 
Jeez, the stable stinks. Yeah, it has that old people smell. Dude, look at his skin. Have you ever seen an elephant's ass? Why? It's huge! Anyway, let's get back to the old guy. Look at his skin! I played pinochle on Elvis's back. This is awesome. We're gonna be like campus heroes for this. Now you go in and signal me when it's safe to bring him through. All right, but don't talk about me while I'm gone. I can't believe that guy thinks we're gonna talk about him. He's so paranoid. Do you like him? Hey, Todd. Um, what you doing? I'm on lobby duty. For how much longer? Thankfully, just four more nerve-wracking minutes. You'd be amazed at the f***ed up sh that goes down here, man. Then who takes over? Charlie, the blind RA from the second floor. Man, they got this place locked down tighter than Fort Lauderdale. Todd's there now, and in four minutes there's gonna be this blind guy. Which ones are the blind guys? Those are the ones that are allergic to chocolate, right? <laughs> News. Charles Schultz is dead. Well, yes, but also someone stole the strapping young man. Good grief, my bet. Gather the RAs, we gotta find that mascot. What's that smell? Um, that's just Sanford. No, this is something else. I know what you're smelling, from under cheese. Oh, I get it, from under my nuts. No, from under your nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And Frank hid me in her purse! Dude, let's go find out how much everyone loves our prank. I hope it went over as well as our silverware gag. That was a colossal failure. Is that how you saw it? I remember it kicking ass. Hey, Todd. Why the long face? I had trouble in the birth canal. It's a dark and dangerous place. Dudes, how about that prank? Isn't it hilarious? That's not a prank. That's a crime. I just hope they nail whoever did it. I think we should just forget about it, because these hooligans will never be caught, like Robin Hood or Syphilis or a football. Yeah, well, I caught Syphilis, and I'm going to catch these guys, too. The Dean has ordered a room-to-room -room search for the strapping young man. Here's the only photo we have of him. In the interest of fairness, I'll start by searching my own room. I found you, old man. Oh, wait. That's just a mirror. This is a disaster. We're not going to be heroes. We're going to get our asses kicked. Not if nobody finds out. We'll just put the old man back where we found him. The girls' locker room. But we found him in the stable. Dude, do you like boobs or not? Oh my god! My sea monkeys are dead! And the mascot's gone. Hmm. I see where you're going. That old bastard OJ'd my sea monkeys and took off! Oh man, if Todd finds the mascot before we do, we're dead. We'll be the most hated guys on campus. Even more than that drunk dude who went skinny dipping in the free beer during Oktoberfest? That was your sister. Oh yeah, that was hilarious. If you were a hundred year old man, where would you go? I'd go to one of those World War I reenactments and reenact the crap out of World War I. You're right. All we gotta do is find the nearest World War I reenactment. Who in this dorm seems to know a lot? Ed? That's exactly what I was thinking. Hey, Ed, where's the nearest World War I reenactment? I don't know, but maybe this old timer does. That's him. Where was he? In your room. I went in to borrow some underpants, and there he was. Man, he sure do know a lot. It's smelly inside a whale. <laughs> Ed, can you help us return the mascot before tomorrow's game? This is the strapping young man, Galdern. Of course I'll help. I got money on that game. I drink gopher piss out of a corn flower. <laughs> Oh, that's just silly. You only find gopher piss in an acorn top. Any news? Well, it looks like they found him. Oh, that's great. Except they didn't. 
It just looked like they found him, but it turned out to be a rock. Damn it, if I don't get that money back, I'm going to jail. Is it that rock by the gym? That does kind of look like an old man. All right, here's the plan. We'll wait until the middle of the night when the coast is completely clear. Then keep waiting until morning when it's really crowded and just hope nobody notices. Or we could do it in the middle of the night when the coast is clear. Well, you better do something. He's getting mighty agitated. Okay, fine. We'll go with Dell's plan. It seems like a lateral move, but we all know what a crybaby he can be. Cool alarm clock. It sounds just like a marching band. Thanks. Let's see if the coast is clear. Somebody lit the moon afire! You set this for 3 p.m. The game's already started. Oh, no! I had tickets to that game! And I'm gonna lose my five bucks thanks to you two dopes! Man, if Ed is mad at us, the whole student body will be, too. He's like a trendsetter. I mean, look at him. How are we gonna sneak him in without getting caught? We'll push him down the hill and hope he rolls into the stadium. Damn! He's too old for gravity! Then he should fly in. Maybe he will, Dell. Maybe he will. Or we could shoot him out of one of those cannons. With seconds remaining, Atherton is once again in scoring position with a lead of 45 to nothing. Lord, I'm not a praying man, but if you let Barter cover the spread, I swear I'll break it off with that fat girl from the lacrosse team. Maybe we should have put him in the other way around. No, dude. You want him to land on his head? This way he'll land on his feet. Do you care nothing for this man's safety? Now cram his shoes in and light this thing. Dang scared! Here's my card. Look me up if you're ever under the 9th Street overpass. Hey, everybody. Guess who shot the strapping young man out of a cannon and saved the game? We did. Oh, right. Like the strapping young man can't fly. Go to hell. Whalen? Linda, how'd you like a ride in the college's new Dean Mobile? I just wanted to try it once myself! They got one of them picture radios back here. Look at Geeky! On the next three south. You wanna go to my sorority date party with me? I must be dreaming. Quick! Somebody pinch a loaf! Fine, I'll do it myself. Whoa! I'm not dreaming! <laughs> 